bless you all I want to thank you for coming online this evening um, this is for those of you that don't know or have you know coming to the line the first time um, I want to introduce this ministry this is Redeem Pilgrims Ministry International London UK branch we have our headquarters at Georgia Atlanta and we have branches in Jamaica and some of the Caribbean islands so I want to thank you for coming online this evening you can go to our website the UK website is www.sendme.org.uk and you can stream online on our Facebook page send me Lord and Twitter and our prayer line number is one seven one two four three two three one zero zero you can also write down the access code seven six eight three five five you can also email us on this um, email address pray with me at sendme.org.uk let us pray father we thank you this evening we give you glory and praise we worship and adore you because you are God Lord we want to thank you for this beautiful day that you have made us to be that you have allowed us to pass through and have allowed us to be in different activities without any problem mighty God you are the one that keeps us you are the one that enables us to live righteously and to obey your word we can do nothing without you Lord father this evening we ask you to come and take preeminence in our prayer meeting as we intercede for people as we go into your presence we ask that you take absolute control in the mighty name of Jesus Lord we ask you God that your mighty hand of power will rest on this meeting tonight that you alone will take the glory in Jesus mighty name we pray Amen before we continue our prayer I want us to look at the book of First John chapter 5 and I'm going to read verse 4. And that is that will be the basic of our prayer tonight. The Bible said in the book of 1 John chapter 5 verse 4. It said, what, For whatsoever is born of God overcometh the world. And this is the victory that overcometh the world even our faith even our faith he said whatsoever he didn't say whosoever but whatsoever is born of God so tonight we are going to relax and base our root on this word that whatsoever is born of God overcome it, the world whatsoever our world everything you speak once it is born of God everything you do once it is born of God whatsoever 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 wherever you are once it is born of God the Bible say it overcometh the world it overcometh the world it overcometh the world, even our faith, which means the faith that we carry is the faith that the world cannot consume. They cannot override that faith because faith is a spiritual substance that works in the natural. It is a supernatural substance that overcomes the world, that, that the world cannot comprehend on how it works now 
without faith, we cannot serve God. But with faith, all things are possible. With faith, with faith, with faith. I want you to come to God tonight with faith. Whatsoever that you're demanding from God, Whatsoever that you want God to do for you, you must come by faith. Ha. Oh, you must come by faith. Faith is the substance, is the things that is a substance that works out supernaturally. Is the thing that we cannot see, but it brings forth the things that can be seen. So tonight. I want you to hold your faith. Remove every fear and doubt. For a doubting man cannot receive anything from God. Because it is like the wave of the sea. When you are wavery, nothing can be received of God. You must have to come by faith. You must have to come by faith. And tonight, when you come... Remove every fear. Remove every doubting. Remove all the things that will stop you from entering the presence of God. I don't care what has happened two hours ago. I care what is happening right now. What is happening at this moment. At this minute. Oh, yes. I want us to thank God. I want us to first of all thank God because you are alive and strong. Yes, I want you to begin to thank God. Oh, yes, Father, we thank you this night. We give you glory because many people started today and does not end. They didn't end today with us, but you allowed us to be alive. You allowed all our system to be in place. You allowed our hands to be intact. You allowed our memory, our mind to be intact. Lord, I want to thank you. We want to give you glory. We want to praise you for enabling us to be in this moment moment of the day. Lord, we thank you. Lord, we thank you. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you because we are called by you. Ah, we thank you because of the faith that you have positioned in our heart this moment. Lord, the faith that overcome it, the world. We overcome every substance, every circumstances that has overriding us this year. This minute we overcome them. We command that every of them that has been on our neck trying to choke us to death will fall down right now. We'll be totally destroyed. Every circumstances, everything that is packing that the devil has packed on us in order to destroy us. This time we command by the power in the name of Jesus Christ that they fall down and crash and be totally destroyed in the name of Jesus Christ. Holy Spirit of God. In verse 5, you say, Who is he that overcometh the world, but he that believeth that Jesus is the Son of God? Huh. Verse 6, That is he that came by water and blood, even Jesus Christ, not by water only, but by water and blood. And it is the Spirit that beareth witness, because the Spirit is truth. Oh yes, I want you to begin to pray now. That everything that the Lord has spoken to you, every truth, let it come to pass. Ha. Any lie that has been covering the truth, this day we command that every lie will give way. For they shall not succeed in the presence of God. The Bible says that all liars, their part shall be in that lake that burns with fire and brimstone. Therefore, we burn every lie. We burn them right now. We set them on fire. Every lie of the devil, every lie that the devil has set on your life, has set in your family, has set in your office, has set in your school, in your career, we 
burn them by fire. Oh yes, because their portion is the lake of fire. Rindo belly pranose panigota. Any lie that the enemy has said against your life, any lie that he is speaking against your life, any lie that he has set up in order for you to be frustrated, to be destroyed we command that the truth of God will rise up oh yes nothing can cover the truth in the name of Jesus Christ let the truth rise and let every lie of the wicked be totally destroyed even this night in the name of Jesus Holy Spirit we thank you because of the blood. Oh yes, we're going to plead the blood of Jesus Christ upon the way. Yes, the Lord has set you up for success. The Lord has set you up for success. Yes, you have been a Christian for many years, but nothing good is happening in your life. No, the Bible said that God is good. Oh yes, whoever identifies himself with God comes out good therefore this minute we are going to rebuke the enemy and we're going to enter by the blood the bible said we overcome him we overcame the enemy by the blood and by the words of our testimony the testimony we have is that jesus christ is our lord and the blood is to overcome the enemy we're going to plead this blood and begin to destroy all the things that the enemy has set against us every word that he has been speaking in your mind trying to cause you to commit suicide we command right now that all those words will be totally destroyed let it be abolished let it disappear in our mind that the blood of jesus christ will take Take charge in the name of Jesus Christ. I wanted to pray. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Magelodro mese palo pranaga. Rindo belivre no maso parigatola. Ribande cromens to venita. Rinde lo brasute bakia. Luce banaya zuriba. Riba to venu promanda. Rapoto libraya. In the name of Jesus Christ, we overcome you by the blood. We overcome you by the blood we overcame you by the blood we overcame you by the blood we overcome you by the blood we overcome you by the blood the blood of Jesus 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 the blood that overcome the devil we overcome you this day by this precious blood of Jesus the blood the blood of Jesus Christ. Hey, we plead this blood and we overthrow every dose of the wicked. Any door he has opened for our destruction, we close it by the blood of Jesus. Hey, Master Pelopaco the size. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Oh, yes, Jesus. We're going to pray. In the book of the same first John, verse 5, verse 7 said, For there are three that will be a record in heaven, the Father, the Word, and the Holy Ghost. And these three are one. And there are three that will be a witness in earth, the Spirit, and the water, and the blood. These three agree. We are going to agree, yes, with the Spirit of God. Whatever the Spirit of God is not doing, whatever He has not agreed with, we are not agreeing with it. The Bible says, remember that two shall agree in touching one thing, and it shall be granted. It shall happen. It will happen when two agree in touching one thing. Oh, yes. When we come together in agreement, something happens. Also, when we agree with the devil, what the devil is telling us, it will come to pass. Because it's a principle. But tonight, we're going to agree with the Spirit of God. 
Everything that the enemy has been speaking to you, pushing you to believe that it is true, that you are a failure, that you will not amount to anything, that you are a barren woman and you will never give birth. Hey, I want to remind you that Manoah, the father of Samson, his wife was barren. But when God came in, he gave birth to one of the strongest men in the world. Oh, and that is your portion this night. That is your portion. I don't care what the enemy has done in your life. I don't care what he has done in your life, but God is taking control now. We are going to agree with the Spirit who bears witness. Ha. Oh, the Bible says, these three are one. These three are one. The Spirit and the water and the blood. We're going to pray. We're going to agree right now. Yes, the Spirit of God and the water and the blood. Yes, all of them are going to agree together. The water representing the Word of God. The blood representing the life and the Spirit of God. Yes, all of us are agreeing right now that whatsoever the Spirit do it is is the truth and it's going to happen because we are agreeing the spirit said you are having longevity of life you are going to have long life that is the word of the spirit you are going to prosper that is the word of the spirit you are going to be a great man a great woman that is the word of the spirit you shall bear the fruit you shall bear fruits oh you shall multiply that is the word of the spirit and i want you to agree i want you to agree you are not a failure you are a prosperity you are not a failure you are a progress i want you to i want you to agree right now with the what the spirit is saying that the spirit is talking to you telling you that you are a winner <laughs> the bible says because I overcame the world, you will overcome also. And this is the word of the Spirit. Right now, I want you to agree. I want you to hold somebody and begin to pray right now that all that the Spirit of God is saying is true. He said, I wish that you prosper, even as your soul prospereth. In Paleto Bari Baloka, Rima do Brelendo Veneco Bangria, Londe Marie the Control, Esopari Me Brando Livendo, Radiki Banoza. Oh, we begin to dismantle every strong man. We bind you right now. We come against you. We come against you with the word of the Spirit. The Spirit said, We overcame. And we are overcomers. Winga Dome Librovene Domica. The Spirit says, We prosper. And the Spirit says, Our light shined more and more unto the perfect day. Yes, every darkness on our way, we abolish you. We abolish you. We abolish you. We command that you give way in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Holy Spirit, we thank you. We thank you, mighty God, because you alone is God. You alone is God. Mighty God, he said, he that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Ha. Mighty God, we found our way in your dwelling place right now. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Mighty God, open up the secret. I want you to begin to pray that God will open your ears to hear the Spirit because this is where the secret dwells. Oh, yes. I want to assure you that many people are joining the secret society, the occult society, because they want to know the secret. Right now, you are in the dwelling place, in the dwelling place of the secrets. <laughs> oh, yes. Where God unveils the secrets to his people. And I want you to begin to 
absorb them. I want you to begin to handle them. Say, Lord, I begin to handle the secret. I touch them right now. I carry them because I dwell in the secret place where God's secret are packed. I want you to open your mouth and begin to pray. I say, Lord, I touch them. I hold them. Every secret of my life, I begin to hold them. Oh, yes, Lord, you shall unveil to me the secret of my life where you want me to be where you want me to go he that dwells in the secret place of the most high shall abide under the shadow of the almighty maged veno brenada londo beko rabanako radom braleko naso ribate veno in the name of jesus Thank you, Lord. Now I want you to pray. I want you to pray. Go to, you're going to use Psalm 125. Oh, yes. Psalm 125. We're going to pray. The Bible said, They that trust in the Lord shall be as Mount Zion, which cannot be moved, but abided forever. As the mountain are around about Jerusalem, so the Lord is round about his people from henceforth, even forever. I don't care what the enemy has done to your family already, but from now henceforth, the story has changed. And I want you to agree with the Spirit in prayer. I want you to agree right now. The Bible said, They that trust in the Lord shall be like Mount Zion. Oh, you can never be moved anymore. You can never be shaken. Whatever wind the enemy is bringing on your way, every evil wind that is sent from the north, south, east, and west, shall not touch your family shall not touch you every evil wind that he has set against you against your family against your job against your work against your work with the lord against your work in the spirit of the lord oh this day it shall not work anymore against your ministry oh every wind every evil wind sent by the devil against your ministry this moment, it shall be totally abolished. It shall be destroyed. I want you to begin to pray. It shall be destroyed. We destroy them in agreement with the Spirit. The Spirit of the Lord said, I shall not be moved. And I can never be moved. Ah, I shall be like Mount Zion that cannot be moved. And that is my portion this moment. And that is my agreement with the Spirit. We shall not be moved. I want you to begin to pray. I want you to begin to pray, child of God. In Doma Glove no Brendos. Sila rate blovecto zino romba de doni maglisonaba raton vecto bali grebon en sidon de crama leido brivano bangli in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Lord, we thank you. We thank you because you are the prayer answering God. Lord, we give you glory. We give you worship. For you alone is God. Ha. Yes. Yes, Lord. I want you to pray, brethren. I want you to pray as the Lord is leading me. But we should pray with this verse of the Bible. John chapter 1. The Bible said in verse 12. I just want you to be opening your Bible. So that you can see the scripture for yourself. John chapter 1. It said from verse 9. It said that was the true light 
which lighted every man. He's talking about Jesus. Which lighted every man that cometh into the world. He was in the world and the world was made by him. And the world knew him not. He came unto his own and his own received him not. The Bible says he is the light. Oh, Jesus. He said, but as many as received him, to them gave he power to become the sons of God, even to them that believe on his name. I wanted to, I wanted to listen to verse 9. He said, he was the true light that lighted every man that comes into this world. So when you come into the world, you carry a light. But that light is the trouble for the devil. And the target, he continued to pursue that light so that he will quench the light. And you will begin to group in darkness, trying to find out what and what and where to go and how to lay your hands on things so that things will start working. But the Bible said, he is the only man, he is the light that lighted every man. There is a light you carry. Ha. Oh yes. In case the enemy has turned your light into darkness. This evening. You are going to cry to God. And cry and ask God for restoration. I want you to begin to pray. And say Lord restore my light. That I may be able to see. The Bible said you are the light that lights every man that comes into this world so god does not walk or does not agree with you that you'll be in dark oh no that is not the agreement from the spirit the agreement is that the light you carry is capable of showing you the way and that light is christ in you the hope of glory hey which means if you have no Christ you have no light this moment you need light I wanted to pray that this light come into my heart come into my life come into my family come into my office come into my ministry in the name of Jesus the light that is capable of showing you the way the light of that is capable of destroying every darkness in your life Oh Lord, is there any way we have lost this light? We demand for a restoration. We demand for a restoration. We demand for a restoration. We don't want to group in darkness anymore. We don't want to group in darkness anymore. We want to move in the light that we might see the way in the name of Jesus. We destroy every darkness in our way, every darkness in our heart, every confusion in our mind. We destroy them right now. We command your light. We ask that your light will come and shine in our heart. The light that shineth and darkness comprehends it not. In the name of Jesus, we receive this light. In the name of Jesus, we receive this light. In the name of Jesus, we receive this light. In the name of Jesus. I want us also to pray. Is there any way the enemy has reduced the light? Maybe you carry this great light. And the enemy has taken time to turn it down. To turn it off. Huh? Oh, that light is brighter than the sun that you see oh yes it's a precious light and you know that light attracts it attracts all manner of insect yes that is why your life has been going down has been under turbulence has been under trial has been going in so many directions because there is a light that the enemy is trying to quench he has been trying to turn it down and you are about to agree with him this moment you shall refuse and say i take back my light i take by the i take back the 
full charge of my light. It shall not grow dim. My light shall not go dim. In the name of Jesus, let there be a restoration, a full restoration of his light in me. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for you have done it. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Verse 13 said in the same book of John chapter 1, verse 13 mentions something. It said, which were born not of blood, nor of the will of flesh, nor of the will of man, but of God. Verse 14 and 15. And the word was made flesh and dwelt among us, and we beheld his glory. The glory as the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. From today, your life shall be full of grace and truth. I want you to pray. Let my life experience the grace and the truth of God. The grace and the truth of God. Let my life from now henceforth begin to experience the truth and grace of God in the name of Jesus Christ. This is the agreement of the Spirit. And this is the word. He said, this word became flesh, full of grace and truth. Full of grace and truth. Where is the truth? The truth is in the spirit. Something we don't know. That the real world is unseen. Where things happen is not seen by these naked eyes. Therefore, we must enter into the spirit to know the truth. And that is why the Bible said, we shall worship God in truth and in the spirit. It is only the spirit that carries the truth. Whatever that takes place in the spirit is what comes out in the physical. And I shock you that many times you think something went wrong. Because it has to go wrong. No. When men sleep, the enemy so tars. When you are sleeping, when your spirit goes dim, the enemy will go and so tars. And so obstructions. And so dangers. And so death. And so sicknesses. And so diseases. So that when you wake up in the morning, you take it. Ah, because you don't know. But right now, the truth has been unveiled to you. That what happens in this natural life takes place in the real world. In the spirit, that is where things happen. Eh, and we must take it by force. Because... The kingdom of God suffered violence. And it's only the violence that takes it by force. I want you to take your portion by force. It doesn't happen by pity party. It cannot happen by many people coming around you to tell you sorry. No, things doesn't happen that way. You must have to take it by force. You must have to enter into the spirit and find out the truth because that is where the truth is. If the spirit say you have progressed, that is the truth. You go there and you take it by force and something will begin to happen. If spirit said, oh, you are full of life and the enemy is trying to kill you. No, you go into the spirit and you take it by force because the violence shall Take it by force. He says, since the day of John the Baptist. What does that mean? Since the day of John the Baptist, the kingdom of God suffered violence because others came and prophesied and go. 
But when John came, he preached. He told the truth. And something began to happen. The enemy became mad. He became angry because the truth has been revealed. And that is what you're hearing today. The truth does not base on the realm of this physical, of this existence. It happens in the spirit. You must take it by force from the spirit. And how do we take it? By praying, by fasting, by going into the world and taking the truth and agreeing with the spirit. And that is what, we have, what is happening this evening. I want you to totally agree with the spirit that you are not dead, you are alive. You are not frustrated. You are progressing. You are not dead. You are alive. Oh, you are not sick. You are healed. I want you to take it. If you are, if you are sick, I want you to lay hands on that part of your body that is disobeying, that is disagreeing with others. I want you to lay hands and command that place and say, "Hey, I command you to." Be healed in the name of Jesus. You take it by force. You take it by force. You take it by force. What belongs to you is by force. It doesn't happen by begging the devil. The devil is a wicked man that doesn't allow his prisoners to go. But tonight... You are leaving his camp. Hey, Emma gave Ole Branica because by knowledge people increase. Hey, the Venom Mulede Branaga. In the name of Jesus, we release you. Father, we thank you tonight. We thank you tonight. I want you to say hallelujah three times and then we conclude. Hallelujah! 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 Father, we thank you because this is a winning shout. We give you glory because of what you have done this evening. We thank you because of your power and grace. We give you praise because you have done it. Because we agree with the Spirit that whatsoever is born of God, overcome it, the world. Father, we thank you because you are the light that lights every man that comes into this world. And our light is not quenched. It's coming brighter day after day. Thank you, Lord, because every dimmed light, every quenched light has come up again. We thank you, mighty God. We thank you, glorious Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Now I'm going to ask you, in case if you are not, if you have not given your life to Jesus Christ, if you have not known Jesus as your own Lord and personal Savior, I want to ask you this evening that you do that very quickly because there is no time. Time waits for no man. There is no time have to do it quickly receiving the Lord as your own Lord and personal Savior that he alone will guide you and take you into all the truth yes the Bible said he shall send the Spirit and this Spirit the Spirit the Holy Spirit will take you into all the truth he will guide you and teach you he will take you to the truth and I want you to do that. Yes, I want you to do that because that is the only way to go. That is the only way to go. You may be disappointed of what is happening. You may be disappointed. But he that put his trust in the Lord shall never be disappointed. Shall never be ashamed. I advise you and I pray you that you give your life to Christ. That is the way. Christ is the way, the truth and alive. And if any man comes to him, he shall receive eternal life. God bless you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen.
bless you all. So you can contact us. I repeat my email again. Pray with me at sendme.org.uk. You can go on Facebook, sign in Send Me Lord. Or go to Twitter and also sign me Send Me Lord. You will see our contacts. Go to our website www.sendme.org.uk. God bless you as you do so. See you next week. And God bless you in Jesus' name. Amen.